algebra numbers signs of operation along with alphabets we can use any of the following alphabets a b c or x y z the most popular alphabet used in algebra is x let us see how we use all of these three things that is numbers operational signs and alphabets together you are given a number and asked to guess that number pause now this number could be a decimal number an integer or can be a rational number so there can be many possibilities the value of this number is unknown to us so we can represent this number as x we can also represent this unknown number using any other alphabet like y or z or p as we can put any number to this alphabet the value of x varies therefore x is called a variable in this lesson we will study about numerical and algebraic statements rules basic operations with literals transformation of verbal statements into algebraic expressions let us understand what algebraic statement is for this we need to know the meaning of statement a statement can be a single term or group of terms combined with symbols like plus minus or multiplied by for example 12 plus 5 6 into 5 plus 24 or 18 minus 13 such statements are called numerical statements in these statements the values of the numbers are constant similarly let us consider some other type of examples 7x 5x plus 2 16y minus 3 We see here that these statements can be a single term or group of terms with plus and minus sign and each statement has a variable such statements are called algebraic statements or algebraic expression an algebraic statement is a statement consisting of variables constants and signs In this algebraic expression there are two variables that is x and y are used the number 4 has a fixed value and is not associated with any variable that is why it is called as constant the number with which variable is attached are called coefficients in this expression 5 is the coefficient of x to the power 2 2 is the coefficient of y and 9 is the coefficient of xy an algebraic statement can have more than one variable or constants let us now understand how algebraic rules are identified using some examples we have studied about number pattern We know that number pattern either increases or decreases. Look at this pattern of numbers: thirteen, twenty, twenty-eight, thirty-four, forty-one, and so on, which is an increasing number pattern, as the values of the numbers in the pattern are increasing. The first number is thirteen. We add up seven to get the second number, twenty. we further add 7 to get the third number 27 from 27 to 34 we add 7 again from 34 to 41 we add 7 what we observe here is that every time the number increases by a same value and that is 7 whichever number we are at every time the same number 7 is added to get the next number so the algebraic rule is x plus 
x is variable here and 7 is constant. We put the first number 13 in x. We get 13 plus 7, 20. We put the second number 20 in place of x. We get 20 plus 7, 27 and so on. Now, when we put the last number 41 in the rule, we get 41 plus 7 equals 47. Let us consider another example. Look at this pattern. Find out the number of sticks used in case of 8 triangles. In such type of geometrical patterns, we observe the pattern and then write it in a tabular form. This helps us to figure out or to predict the next possible geometrical pattern in the series. So, now let us try to put the information in the table. We see that the first triangle has three sticks. So, we write one here and three here. The second one has two triangles and six sticks. We write two here and six here. The third one has three triangles and nine sticks. We write three here and nine here. Let us see the pattern of numbers, how it goes in A and B. We see that 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. So, for every number in A, the respective number in B is 3 times of it. So, we can make the rule as B is equal to 3 times A. Now, if we want to find out the number of sticks used in case of 8 triangles, we will simply find B is equal to 3 into 8, which equals 24. This means when there are 8 triangles, then 24 sticks are used. Let us look at another example. Here, we are asked to find the rule that connects the two quantities A and B in the table. Look at the numbers in the row A, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and the corresponding numbers in the row B are 1, 3, 5 and 7. Observe that these numbers are changing by 1 whereas these numbers are changing by 2's. Every time we add 2 and we get the next number. Let us explore the various possibilities of finding the rule that connects the two quantities in the table. If we write the rule as 2x, then for x is equal to 1, we get 2x is equal to 2. But we have 1 here in B row. If we write the rule as 2x minus 1, then for x is equal to 1, we get 2x minus 1 is equal to 2 into 1 is 2 and minus 1 is 1 and we get the first number in B. Let us check if this rule works for other numbers in A. If x is equal to 2, then 2x minus 1 is equal to 2 into 2 is 4 and minus 1 is 3. And we have the second number 3 in B. Similarly, if x is equal to 3, then 2x minus 1 is equal to 2 into 3 is 6 and minus 1 is 5. And we have the third number 5 in B. Thus, the rule that connects the two quantities in the table is the algebraic statement 2x minus 1.